Hi friends, welcome back to Interactive Schooling. In the previous video, we learnt about the various atomic models that were proposed and in this video, we shall learn about symbols. So, symbols are a very important part of chemistry. So, before this, you actually, if you had to write everything in its full form, sodium chloride, dihydrogen oxide like that it would be very hard right so what scientists started doing was they started giving abbreviations or symbolic representations to every element so first dalton he had appointed some symbols like this was hydrogen oxygen phosphorus this was sulfur i guess and uh, this was gold like this this was mercury so like that he had given various symbols but this was actually very complicated and you had to buy heart a lot of stuff like to represent water you couldn't just do that for soda lime for everything everything there was a separate symbol so they didn't uh, prefer Dalton's uh, symbols actually. So another scientist called Jacob Berzelius. He made some new rules and this is the one that we are currently following. The first one is element is represented by the first letter. Example, hydrogen, sulfur, phosphorus. The second one is when two or more elements share the same letter, the first letter and the second one was the most prominent one. So example, hydrogen and helium shared the same, first letter was same. So, helium, H-E, sulfur and silicon, so, like this, and uh, for phosphorus and plutonium, P-U, and uh, chlorine and uh, carbon, so another thing, carbon here, C-L, so like this, and the third thing was, when the first letter is also same and the prominent letter is also sort of similar. That time the Latin name, the symbol was derived from the Latin name of the element. For example, cobalt is CO. Copper on the other hand is CU and it derives its name from its Latin name cupra. I will give you some more examples. So the element is copper, Cu, cuprum, iron, Fe, iron shares it with iodine, right, iodine is I, so Fe is ferrum, sodium is Na, that is Natrium, Potassium is K and its Latin name is Kalium. And like this there are so many more uh, stuff. I don't know all of them actually. So like this there are so many other stuff and there are uh, some elements in which the Latin name is very much similar to the it's the English name that we use. For example, magnesium is Mg for magnesium and magnesia. So both are similar. So all those we don't need to include. And calcium. Calcium and in Latin or Greek it's calx. So like this, somewhat similar. So this we don't take into consideration. So this was Jacob Berzelius' contribution to chemistry. So he formulated the rules with which we are symbolizing elements right now. So 
a symbol can convey so many informations actually but the general one that we use is let's say this is the element okay we denote the atomic number and the atomic number and the mass number either like this or like this so what is the atomic number and what is the mass number atomic number indicates the number of protons in the nucleus or the number of electrons in the electrically neutral atom so z is equal to p is equal to e this is a very important formula this is atomic number the second one is a mass number this is used uh, to check the actually the as you might know the mass of an atom is so less it will be like 10 to the power minus 10s or 20s even less than that actually so it's hard to represent it in the form of grams or milligrams like that so what they have done is there is something as i already said amu atomic mass unit so using this they are finding the mass number so as we know one proton is equal to one amu and one neutron is also equal to one amu so the atomic number is equal to the sum of the protons and neutrons present in the nucleus of that atom so this is one thing actually here we have seen right the z is equal to p is equal to e so what they did was they substituted this z here instead of p atomic number the other thing is to find the number of neutrons as i said right in when you are representing a symbol you get the atomic number atomic number sorry this is the atomic number and the mass number but in in order to find the number of neutrons you don't get the number of neutrons from this right so what you can do is you can subtract the atomic number from the mass number so these are three very basic and important formulas that you have to remember z is equal to p is equal to e and a is equal to z plus n and n is equal to a minus z which is nothing but Mass number is equal to atomic number plus number of neutrons and number of neutrons is equal to mass number minus the atomic number. So this is what an element is represented like uh, let's say sodium chlorine. Okay, Chlorine its atomic number is 17 and its mass number is 35. It can be represented like this or like this. So, how can we find the number of, uh, first, let, from this, let's find the number of, let, let's find the atomic number first, then let's find the mass number, and let's find the number of neutrons. Yeah. And the fourth one is the number of protons. Yes. So, Z is this one, right? This is the atomic number. So Z is equal to 17. Therefore P is also equal to 17. Since Z is equal to P is equal to E. So this is the symbol for therefore and this is the symbol for since. This will be very useful while you are doing mathematics. Then mass number is equal to 35. Why? Because mass number is denoted here. Right? So mass number is 35. Next, the number of neutrons is equal to A minus Z, which is equal to 35 minus 17. Therefore, the number of neutrons is equal to 18. So, this is how you, uh, you like, what do you say, you obtain information from the symbolic representation of an element. So this is a very important concept in chemistry and yeah. So that's all for today's video. I hope you understood all about symbols and uh, I cannot as you know I, I cannot 
show the symbols of each and every element in this video. So as we proceed further, we'll be using multiple elements and with that you can understand the symbols and you can also do a bit of research on the symbols. So I hope you understood this concept well. Do like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you friends. Goodbye.